standard I'm held to is beyond a reasonable doubt um, in reaching my verdict. Um, I think Mr. McNamara is exactly correct. This is all about question of intent. Um, in fact, the definition of an intent to commit a crime um, includes the uh, specific element of intent to commit a crime in order to reach the attempt. Um, after reviewing the evidence, and it's particularly Exhibit 4, it's clear to this court, as a trier of fact, that um, the defendant was not trying to jump the barrier, but in fact, the positioning of the defendant puts him either sideways or facing the group, because Officer Baker did a uh, counter or clockwise pulling him off of the, um, the barrier. Um, it may have been unwise or unsafe because there was no water in those barriers uh, to stabilize the situation, but that's not the issue before the court. Um, and again, I would note there was no sign prohibiting walking on those, uh, on the top of that barrier. It's also clear to this court um, that um, as the trier of fact, again, that I'm viewing that mask as a prop that was permitted under the uh, permit that was issued. Um, and again, applying the facts to the uh, particular statutes that are charged uh, at a beyond a reasonable doubt standard, uh, this court finds the defendant not guilty of both charges. Stands adjourned. Oh, the exhibits will be available in 30 days, assuming there's no um, notice of appeal that's filed by either party. Sure. Stand. Briefly, sure. uh, those exhibits are going to be exhibits by the entire trial. Well, the problem I've got is if, if the people are going to appeal it, do you want to return? Yes, I do. Judge, I can't, I can't give him his oh, mask. Oh, because you need it for the other trial. No, I can't give him his mask back because it's, I didn't get it from him. The sheriff's office. So you gotta get, it's gotta All right, so I'll talk to the sheriff's office about yeah. that. All right, do you have any objection to it? Do right. you still need, you don't need it for another trial, right?